Welcome crafters, Andy Jody here, I'm back with Life of a Producer. First house is by Ender Assad. Okay, so here we are arriving at uh, Ender Assassi's uh, modern house. Looks like he's got recycle, bottle, bin and trash. Very clever. And let's just spin around the outside. So he's used some dark oak. Plenty of snow. Oh good grief, this place is absolutely enormous. Uh, lots of really cool shading above the pool. Ender, dude, you are improving day by day. This is cool. Some skylights as well. And then we can launch right inside. So we've got a bookcase, TV, kitchen, dining room. Wow, look at these paintings all over the place. And a big freezer at the end there. Um, looks like we've got some slidey doors into some pretty tranquil and cool bedrooms. I like this L-shaped, upside down L-shaped window. Very smart indeed. What do we have around here? A little office. Cool. He's paid attention to lighting because everything looks well lit up in this place as well. A little um, bedroom in here as well. Zebra painting on the wall. Is this a bathroom? Yep. Look at that cool shelf design which is blocking off the shower. That's clever actually. Genius. And then around into a little spooky storeroom. Okay. And then out to a magnificent pool. Ender. Super buddy. Well done. Let's go back to warp. Walk wall, love that house. Who's that? That's oh, Ian, look. Ian again in my videos. So, well done, Ender, love it. And now we're moving on to Ian Parlor 10. Okay, having some trouble with the coordinates here. 2747, Y is 88, and Z is negative 408. Now, I need to be in Galitzin for that to work. And this takes me to this house here. So was this done by Ian Poller? No, it's made by Thun... Oh, it is by Ian Poller. Okay, so this could be a collab between Ian... Looks like Ian Poller and Thunderbird. Maybe... I'm just going to say it's Ian Poller, I think. Let's see, is there some, some signs here? Modern Mansion built by Thunderbird 124 and Ian Poller 10. Okay. Let's have a look. Okay cool trees in the garden and uh, interesting exterior design wood and what's this crack stone brick I'd even forgotten what that looks like nice location though wow really nice location okay let's have a spin inside quite like the outside very woodish woodish okay on the right we have a little hallway I guess hang your coats up and then we're into the garage oh wow that's a derpy car <laughs> stick the houses guys um, Kobe shelf. Um, oh, upstairs. Right, let's not go upstairs yet. So we've got a very sleek kitchen. I like how he's used these droppers um, facing up the way to make a kind of oven unit or something there. Got a sink and a stove and a table. Yeah, very, very sleek designs actually, guys. Right, upstairs brings us to. Ah, no, I haven't done this much. This is quite clever. A little skylight in the floor. Bathroom, cozy looking bath all tucked away in here. And a nice bedroom as well with a bit of a TV slash peak time at 12 p.m. I think it's getting dark. Love this corner window. Brilliant corner window. Um, and I guess we can go upstairs again. And then we're up to kind of a recreation or office level with a tiny little pond. Very cute, very cute indeed. Does it go out onto a balcony? I would have liked the balcony, but never mind. That is pretty awesome house, guys. Well done indeed. Warp. Walk wall, not walk wall, walk wall. Well done, guys. Brilliant house. Thanks for putting it on walk wall. Much appreciated. Right, now we're off to Skinny Boy's house. Okay, th we've arrived at Skinny Boy. He has made a colonial mansion. It's his first one and view it in default, which I've got on. And it's inspired by laughing urchin in no world that it was used. So, nice neighborhood. Is this Polly's town? I think this is Polly's town. And look at this, isn't this great? Colonial mansion with a big veranda around it. Looks like we've got some garages in the side here. That's quite cool, you come in the side. 
and a little backyard. Awesome. So the materials used, he has some pillared quartz on its side for the walls, which is actually really cool. Ah, oh, that looks like wood. It looks like those slatted woods you get. Oh, that's genius. Absolute genius. And look at all these signs. Just wonderful. Isn't that great? Um, okay, there we've got an open glass door. And I do like this veranda wrapping around the front of the house. Okay, inside we have a couple of little storage areas under the stairs. That's quite cute. Place to hang your coats. And uh, back out onto a side veranda as well. I would have liked that to wrap round. Why didn't that wrap round the whole... Or did I just go back out the same door? What a, what a plonker. How could I be so stupid? Right, I got lost after one second. Okay, now we're into this hallway. Great detail on the ceilings and the walls. And we've got a fish tank. A little nook or hideaway here. Um, looks like a dining room. And then we're into the kitchen. Using mushrooms for the the walls and the, the counters. Pretty cool actually. And then we're onto a back veranda as well with a nice shaded garden. Very cool indeed. Okay, so we jump over here. Do we get to the garage? Yes we do, with a car and maybe a this tiny space for a motorbike or something. In there. Great detail on the hallways and what do we have here? A tiny little bedroom. Could be a child's bedroom there with a little playroom or office in here. Love it. Um, and that leads us out to another little balcony and an exit onto the garden. This is a great little space here. Little chilled out. Um, what would you call this space? A little place you can watch the garden from, but you're still undercover. Great stuff. This is very impressive. This house, very impressive indeed. Especially because it's built in default. Have we been along here? Um, don't think so. Okay, we've got a double bedroom over here. Could be a kid's bedroom because they've got a sneak, sneak the cake in here. And uh, a Rubik's Cube. Is this a bathroom? I hope so. Oh, it's an office. Hmm. Leading out onto another exclusive little uh, alcove. Cool. Okay, let's have a quick look upstairs. Can't spend too much longer in this house, but check out this house with the coordinates, guys, if you want another look. This is a great colonial mansion. Finally, we have a bathroom. And what happened to that toilet paper? It looks used. Um, very cool. <coughs> this could be a master bedroom, probably, with an upstairs balcony. Loving the balconies and the verandas in this house. Genius. Well done. Okay. Don't have time to see it all, but saw most of it. Thank you so much for posting it on the walk wall. Oops. Warp. Walk. Wall. I was lucky I didn't start hitting stuff. Okay, skinny boy. Done. Right, now we're off to Glutch123. Here we are. We've arrived. The Wave, built by Glutch123. Check them out in PMC. Glutch123. Feel free to leave some feedback. And the texture pack is Flows HD, which I have got on. And I'm just going to stick a bit of carpet in my hand so you don't see my hand waving about all over the place. And, okay, cool. So, what do we have here? A modern house. Awesome zigzags. Look at that. That's great. I've not seen that before. Uh, double height, like a little pool. Um, barbecue area. Pretty awesome. Amazing decking. Really incredible. It's a driveway, not decking. Look, you can drive your car. Is that right? You drive your car all the way. So you drive your car through this two wide gap. Hmm. Hmm. This, these are three wide cars, dude. <laughs> a little bit of planning on the driveway, please. Uh, apart from that, the landscaping is pretty awesome. Another barbecue area. But I must say, the house shapes are weird. But I like it. Look at all the astonishing detail. Look at this. That's bizarre. Wow. Great imagination. Like I always say, we start with the same blocks in Minecraft, but we never end up with the same thing. Um, Glatch, you have one wicked imagination on you. And I'm loving the split level here. So we've got a kitchen up here and a little dining table. A cool wee balcony kind of peek down areas here 
and then you can come down into a very sumptuous little dining area. Sorry, uh, sitting area. No, it's not a dining area. I'm right, dining area. And then look at that for a modern feature fireplace. You don't get much better than that, actually. Brilliant how the, the light comes through. Yeah, and we've got some useful shelves as well. And then we're downstairs, I take it. Ooh, left or right? Your choice. Ah, this is where he's put the bathroom. So where's the bedroom? Did I miss a staircase? Aha! I'm liking the staircase as well. It's alternative stone and dark oak slabs. So you might bump your head a little bit if you go up that side of the stairs. Okay, then we're into a very relaxed, very relaxed indeed. Look, TV's missing. Someone stole a TV. Very relaxed bathroom. Sorry, bedroom. I'm getting mixed up. Look, it's open. It's an open bathroom. What happens when it rains? Oh well. Nice job, Glutch. Great imagination. Very different from anything we've seen, and I like it. Warp, walk, wall, white, white wall. Good one. Okay, I need some diamond and get rid of that one. Now we're off to Go Cody Go's house. And here we have a Victorian home by Go Cody Go, and it's best viewed in Flows HD. Very cool, actually. Really nice. Oh, and he's done a, a superb tower. Well done. Loving the brick. Loving the detail as well. This is a good Victorian house. Go, Cody, go. You should have built one in the Victorian competition. I'm sorry if you did, and I've just dissed you. I like this detail. What's he used to? Orange stained clay. How clever on the sides. Looks Victorian. Let's see about the inside. We chair and a wrap around veranda or porch. Okay, cool rug and a little corner seating area in the bottom of the tower. Place to hang your coats and stick all your gubbins. A dining room, thoughtfully hooked onto the kitchen as well. And he's used walls, cobblestone walls, as the handles for his cupboards as well, which is cool. And then in here, I guess, is a staircase, okay, kind of like a back staircase. Some more storage. What do we have in here? Ah, downstairs bedroom. And look, he's got wood to throw in the fire. That's clever, isn't it? Genius. I would have liked to see a little toilet in here, but he's put, put a cupboard. And you can get to all your storage up the ladder, okay. Cool feature on the wall, actually, using that colour glass. Okay, background to the main staircase as well, and a main living and sitting area with. Look at that fireplace! That's cool. Impressed so far. Up the stairs then. Big TV area, some fuzzy stuff on the wall. Cool balcony. Yep, go Cody, go. Love it. Victorian. Kind of got some modern elements to it as well. Maybe that's just because we're in, in Flows HD. Upstairs, a little bar. And then we're into a little laundry room. And a little bathroom. It's, again, we see this toilet paper that is, is, is changed. Whose toilet paper is this? Kind of epic. Oops. I guess I better put it back. Kind of epic fail there, right there. Okay, you didn't see that. You didn't see that. Right, let's get out of here. Warp, walk. Wow, great Victorian house. Well done to go, Cody. Go. MD Kelly, you're next. Problem with these coordinates, Kelly. 1331270, negative 84. Zero zero one three three one two seventy negative eight four four zero guys you must double check your coordinates because even right where am I? I'm in large biome. If I do warp galitzin which puts me in Terra Nova and do your coordinates again, I'm still in the middle of nowhere. 
check your coordinates guys otherwise I have to just delete your sign and you're back to the bottom of the queue sorry Kelly okay now we're off to a mansion by Kelly <laughs> maybe this is the one he meant okay this must be the mansion by uh, MD Kelly let's just double check on the sign mansion by MD Kelly check me out in PMC MD Kelly 02 cool garage I think I've seen this house I think he showed me it I really like the design um, here with all the buttons around the roof and some interesting landscaping as well huge stripes in the lawn oh a cool porch at the back very smart and a gazebo on the outside as well great design actually and some lovely big trees oh, this is great look at the size of that birch tree wow awesome this okay um can we get into these garages no, let's have a look. Can we get into the garages? Yes, we can. Great stuff. So there's the garages and these cars. Let me just have a quick spin around the cars. Like station wagons almost with these bits of wood on them. Cool. Our little closet in there. And it looks like a library or something in here. Cool. We go back to the main entrance. Is this the main entrance? Yep, looks like it. So a little veranda here. Um, would like to see some plants or something in that corner. All right, what do we have here? What do we have here? Seating area, possibly. I'm just going to explore this at random and not try to be methodical. Ooh, a hay bed. Cool. A little guest bedroom, probably, and an office. And it's used snow on top of cobblestone for the walls. Very interesting, actually. I've seen that combination before. There's a melon bed. So we've got a hay bed and a melon bed. This is some smelly beds, I think. Ah, here's a normal bed. Okay. Cool. Okay, a quick journey upstairs if we can. MD Kelly, this is a beautiful house. Really nice furniture and quite low enclosed ceilings. It makes a very cozy feel to it. Oh, look at this kitchen. Damn, actually the acacia works well in this kitchen. I'm liking this. Cool, okay. Do we have an ability to go up stairs in this house? Aha! Here's stairs at the back. Great detail on the furnishing actually. It's not got any walls that are just plain and apart from that one outside. Here we are into a bedroom and it's got its own fireplace and it's got its own big bathroom as well so that's an impressive bedroom oh what's in here walk-in wardrobe so this must be the master bedroom without a doubt that's the master bedroom little seating area and you can look down as well so I'm starting to really like the layout of this place okay another couple of rooms at random got an office and what's this laundry must be a laundry room or a, or a bathroom and another bedroom around the corner. Great stuff, Kelly. Great builder. Another problem with the toilet paper, though. <laughs> Who changed our head? Warp, walk, wall. Okay, so that one worked. And we're onto another house by Skinny Boy. Guys, try and put only one house at a time up on this, if you can. Right, let's pause so I can do the coordinate. Townhouse by Skinny Boy, and he's made a skinny townhouse. Isn't it great? Loads of windows, really big windows for a townhouse. And we can have a look at the other end of it as well. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Detail on the roof as well. Skinny by well done. Looks like he's got some AC units on the top. Very impressive. And I'm loving this little uh, awning or something. What would you call that? Little sticky out bit of um, cloth there. Great use of the stair blocks as well in in the walls here. Stair, sideways stair, sideways stair. Very imaginative use of stair. I mean that outside is just wicked. You don't get townhouses this good very often. Well done skinny boy. And now inside we have, ah it's like a little tree shop. 
Okay, cool. Come and buy your trees in here. And some little fish tanks. And uh, somewhere to get served. Oh, what a cool, cute little shop. That's just wonderful. I love this. How well organized is that for a store? Guys, take note of the layout for this. That's a great idea. Okay, are we up to an accommodation? Yes, we're up to the accommodation. So we've got a kitchen up here. And this is a long place, but he's used this such a clever layout. A bedroom, its own little balcony. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Look at this bed with this little enclosed area. Damn, skinny boy, this is very clever. Hmm. And a little TV or something in there. Library, anyway. And then we're up into another kitchen. Hmm. Hallway. Same layout up here. I'm starting to understand this place. And then we're up again into an attic, are we? Is there another staircase? Or are we done? I think we're done going up. So, well done skinny boy. Love the townhouse. Brilliant stuff. Warp, walk, wall. And we can get rid of that. And that. And then we're off to Elias Levy in Terno. Okay, I've arrived. Prestige by Elias Levy. Flows HD, which I've got on. Wow. Very, very sleek modern design. I'm loving this. What's this? Light stained clay going all the way along and down. If you look at that from back here, that line kind of binds the whole building together. These bushes are then hitting in my way. Huge lumps of bedrock to support the roof. Cool detail on the side. Bit of imagination used in the landscaping. I've not seen a tree like this before with a pool having to go around the tree. That's pretty awkward. Okay, look, very industrial looking rear to the building as well. But I love this gap here where you can see all the way through. Okay, Elias, let's have a look. Elias, Elias, what am I going to call this guy? Elias, Elias. Wow, very open plan indeed. And some cool lighting effect coming through the, the layers of snow and some buttons on the wall. Look at them. Wow. This kid's having Nutella for breakfast. Cool stove and a living room area. Very realistic seating actually. A little alcove for your books. Pot lights in the ceiling and a very minimalist sleek modern looking kitchen as well with some back panels there. Awesome. Redstone on the ah that indicates where the door slides. Love that. Absolutely love that. And here we into a garage with kind of a workshop feel to it. Veluxian appliances, dishwasher three thousand. Hmm. Looks like some stairs which we can go up. Loving this bit of uh, iron railings here dark up here though. Bedroom with a stove and TV and its own cool little bathroom. Look at the size of this place. It's tiny. One, two, three by about six or seven. And the same over here. We've got bedroom and bathroom. Cool. Very atmospheric lighting I must say. What is that block? I've seen this a few times. Scott 11B. Very nice decorative head there. It's got one one B. Another bedroom. Um, with a little bathroom there. Okay. And what do we have here? Another bedroom. With its own bathroom this time. Look at the way the light comes in. It's genius this place. Absolute genius. Elias, this is different class, man. Really is different class in terms of modern architecture in Minecraft. And we're on to, I guess, are we out onto a porch? Yes. Terrific. Terrific build. Really good layout and amazing use of materials. Absolutely love that. Right. 
that'll do for the walk wall for this episode. More walk wall. And we'll just move this diamond along. And looks like Jay Zach ninety, you are next with Glam. See you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.